some of the most uh, impactful things that I've experienced on this trip to Guatemala is a few things. Uh, one of them being the, the heart transformation that's taking place uh, with our team. As people are experiencing and um, coming to an understanding of just uh, how significant the poverty, uh, the malnutrition, uh, the need is uh, God's doing a deep work in, in their hearts. It kind of puts into perspective how they live. I got to see that firsthand yesterday, uh, just going into someone's little shack and in a room that was smaller than my bedroom, there were five people with three kids, six dogs, seven chickens, and a turtle. What gets me the most is seeing these people, they hardly have nothing and they're happy just with the simple things in life. And we go back home and we're just <laughs> never content on our things, but they're happy with nothing. And I think that's what, just being happy, like, with what we have. Be thankful for what we have and grateful. What impacted me the most on this trip was how when we all push together, we can accomplish so much more. We had a very big construction job to do. There's a ton of dirt that needed to be moved and a ton of concrete that needed to be poured. But all 20 of us just got right in there and everyone did their part and we actually finished ahead of schedule and we're doing more than they wanted us to do. I think the same thing applies to helping those who are less fortunate in this world. There's a lot of people who are lacking financial resources and stuff like that. But if the whole body of Christ were to push together and everyone were to do their part, I think it would be amazing what we could do. But also it's a blessing to, uh, you know, to, to be together to do whatever the God had been uh, planning for Membrial and for the kids there and uh, so we we love this um, this kind of visit because we work and it's, the work is more fun and uh, uh, yeah we have been having a good time. I held a, a little girl and start crying already. She's five years old. She's in size 18 months of clothing and that just tore me apart. I picked her up and it felt like I was picking up a bag of feathers. You know these kids, they don't know better. Yeah. They don't know yeah. what's, what life could be like for them. <laughs> so and they are happy. so joyful. Yeah. Joy it's not even just happy, they are joyful. I really liked VVS because the kids were just so happy with such simple things. And just the vibe coming from everybody else is just... Fantastic. Just the you know the kids would come into the project and and just to see how they would all of a sudden just crowd around you know whoever's willing to to play with them you know to get out a, a soccer ball or the girls getting out to you know nail polish and everything. The church in Magdalena and seeing Pastor Mario lead this little congregation in this little church that's not much bigger than a, but it's really about the size of a two-car garage. And we got to see him lead his congregation and, you know, everybody was singing. It was absolutely amazing. Brenda had uh, brought a guitar and she walked in with this guitar and they noticed that. So after they were done singing, they invited Brenda up. And, uh, so Brenda played three songs and of course you got all the kids involved. And then at the end of the singing, Brenda uh, told them, told Pastor Mario that the guitar was a church, that it was a gift to the church. Um, from them. And you should have seen the smile on their faces when they realized that, uh, that they were getting a guitar because all they had before that was a keyboard. The biggest highlight for me was uh, going shopping in Guatemala City for food for the for the people in Zapote and uh, Membriel and Pastor Tono's heart for these people and and he just couldn't get over how much food we were buying. He said he never spent that much money at one time. They had maybe done one feeding before, like for one meal or something, but never for that, he just couldn't get over saying how many times that I can't believe this is happening, you know. We, we saw kids today who wouldn't have nutrition. 
for education, for God's word in their lives. And uh, because they had those those things and healthcare, they were they were healthier and stronger and brighter and bigger than um, any of the kids that we've seen so far. I think the food distribution. Am I supposed to go into detail? Sure, yeah, go into detail. Uh, oh, I just like seeing the look on all the moms and kids' faces. Uh, they obviously don't get this often, so it's nice to give. I enjoy giving out the soccer balls as well. That's fun. Uh, we have been enjoying the, the visit of the Hinton Church, the Hinton Lions Church. I uh, have been saying like a couple of things this week. Um, we know that as a body of Christ, I mean, we're one in Him, but it's, uh, it's awesome also to receive uh, uh, people from Alliance Church because we're like a CMA. So it's, it's great that this is an ongoing project, an ongoing uh, affiliation you know, between our church and, uh, and the church here, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. We've um, put our, our hearts and our effort into um, being one of the, one of the uh, churches participating in getting this school up and running. And now we need to now we need to fund students so they can actually go. I'd love to see every child here have an education and have a hope for the future. Anything else? I hope to come back next year. <laughs>